How do you design one of the most advanced DRs in the country? At Parkview, we did it by focusing all our attention on you, the patient, by involving doctors and nurses in the design process, by creating quieter, more private spaces, and by leading the region in heart, stroke, and trauma care. This is not your typical emergency room, it's Parkview. In an emergency, isn't this where you'd rather be? Parkview, your partner in health. We are pleased to be able to help bring tonight's IHSAA Game of the Week into your home. Parkview is committed to help improve the health and well-being of the communities in which it serves. So we invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy tonight's game. This is Hoosier Hysteria. IHSAA Basketball, brought to you as a special presentation by Parkview Hospital Randalia. Parkview, your resource for health. And by Fox Sports 1250, The Ticket. Tonight's game is also presented by Meyer, where you get higher standards and lower prices. By McDonald's Restaurants of Northeast Indiana. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Bumper Insulation, with over 40 years of quality, professional insulation. Walburn Financial Management, providing affordable solutions to bookkeeping and tax problems. By Midwest America Federal Credit Union, now with mobile banking. Check balances and transfer money all right from your phone. By Stiefel, a firm of choice. Ruoff Home Mortgage, a great name to know when you need a mortgage. By Arrow Fence, Fort Wayne's oldest name in fencing. By Tom Steele Tires, the car care center of Fort Wayne. And with special promotional consideration by the Fort Wayne Journal Gazette. Nobody delivers the goods each morning like the Journal Gazette. Now let's head to the arena with Joe Parson. Home stretch to the IHSAA basketball regular season, but major matchups remain, including tonight as Northside invades the Carroll Field House to test the Chargers. Hi everybody, I'm Joe Parson. Redskins put an 11 game win streak on the line tonight. North has not played though a game in two weeks. They last, uh, their last win coming at Bishop Winger on February the 6th, 77-45. And over their last four victories, Northside has upped its scoring output to over 76 points a ball game. Meanwhile, Carroll does it with D as in defense. Chargers are holding their opponents to a conference best average of under 46 points a ball game. That ranks among the state's very best defensive averages as well. Chargers are 19-2 with their only two losses coming against NHC leading Homestead. Carroll has won 10 in a row after beating Snyder Tuesday night, 53-50. Something has to give here tonight. Redskins Chargers, two ranked teams to go at it here. And we'll uh, step out for a break. We'll be back with more of our pregame presentation. Both coaches will join us when we return. Marty Beasley will be on deck first. Head coach of the Carroll Chargers after this three-minute timeout. This is IHSW Basketball on Fox Sports, 1250 the ticket. At Parkview Regional Medical Center, we know that life-threatening or severe problems requiring surgery can happen at any time. That's why, when the unexpected happens, our trauma and acute care surgeons are ready. They make up the region's only team of acute care surgeons board certified in both general surgery and critical care. They're here 24-7, not just on call, to diagnose, treat, and perform life-saving surgery. From emergency appendectomies to major trauma surgeries, our dedicated team is here round the clock, on site and in the medical center. And it doesn't stop there. Our acute care surgeons are backed by a full range of specialists and advanced technologies, all in a state-of-the-art facility. No wonder when it comes to trauma and emergency care, more people trust Parkview. Parkview Regional Medical Center. In an emergency, isn't this where you'd rather be? John skipped breakfast. He's carpooling with co-workers. They're running late and he wants to stop at McDonald's. Come on, it'll be quick. No. Minutes later, he spots a McDonald's. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Is that an asteroid? We better pull over to that McDonald's. John knows how to put a little loving in the morning. What would you do for love? Show your morning some love with an Egg McMuffin or Sausage McMuffin with egg sandwich made with freshly cracked eggs. Get two of the same or one of each for only $3.50 at McDonald's. Morning time only. Prices and participation may vary. Price a single item on menu. 
The next time you're downtown, treat yourself to one of those mouth-watering chocolate delicacies by DeBrands. Rudy's is your downtown resource for world-famous DeBrands chocolates, located right near Parkview Field. And Rudy's is a great downtown choice for scheduling your own small group private function. It's never too early to be making your spring and summer plans. Just call 451-0115 and ask for Uriah. You'll be astounded at what all comes with making your special event truly special at Rudy's. Treat all your senses at Rudy's downtown. When it comes to finding auto insurance, there are promises everywhere. Say $400 with us. Say $500 over there. Fact is, real savings may be hard to come by, at least until you call Virtual Insurance right here in Fort Wayne. When Joe Milhouse or Tim Beerman handle your coverage, you'll be assured of getting rock-solid savings. All it takes is a simple phone call. Call 260-478-4995. And yes, Virtual Insurance also handles a complete line of insurance products. Virtual Insurance. Real insurance with savings you can believe in. So you're taking that exciting step, buying a new house. Maybe you're planning to build your brand new dream home. Midwest America is a full-service lender that can offer you all kinds of mortgages to fit your situation, like refinancing your current home, buying or building. We have options for you. We want to help you get the home you've always wanted with timely and competitive financing. And you can rest assured that your loan will be handled with care by your local mortgage specialist. Midwest America. All together. Better. And now more Hoosier Hysteria action as we head back to the arena with Joe Barson on Fox Sports 1250, The Ticket. Let's uh, check in with head coach Marty Beasley before tip-off here tonight. And uh, so many important ball games this year, one of which was this past Tuesday night at Snyder, 53-50 win. That's a game, you know, a very good Snyder team coach. Uh, uh, close all the way. I think you're up three, you're down three. Uh, it's uh, very close at the end of the third quarter. You need a three-pointer from Jacob Renning to win that ball game by 53-50. to But uh, you, you look at your season, 19-2, and great uh, season so far. It seems to be a game that's predicated in large part uh, about defense and holding other teams production down talk about your team this year uh, we have a lot of guys who like to guard they understand the importance of guarding uh, they, they realize that if we can uh, uh, force the opponent to take uh, you know maybe not a great shot uh, it could lead out to transition for us so we can rebound the ball and just we, re we really don't want to give them anything easy so we talk a lot about just you know closing off the gaps and not letting people get to the rim and so forth on us and kids bought into it and they, they take a lot of pride in it but you've got some kids that can score as well, and we've seen Kyle Milers a couple of times this year, and boy, he gets in that zone. He's one of those guys that you just can't stop him wherever he is on the floor. Well, he's a shooter, and sometimes shooters are like that, but uh, we have guys who can score. We, you know, we got four guys averaging double figures, and, and really, to be honest with you, you know, Kyle and Chandler probably could get 20 a night. You know, Jacob and, and Jeremy probably could get 15 a night uh, if we just, you know, weren't as team-oriented with our stuff. We, we like to move the ball and find the open guy and have trust the open guy will make a shot, and that's why we're shooting at a high percentage every night. You know, the only two losses this year have come against Homestead, and in, in a way that kind of eats at you a little bit. You know, you, you've done such a great job against every other team that uh, the Chargers have faced this year. And, and I know Homestead's a great uh, program, but this is about that matchup that just seems to go so well for the Spartans. Well, they have a guy who's 6'9 and weighs about 280, and uh, he's an All-American, so uh, he, he's a game changer. And, and uh, no matter, you take him out of the lineup, you know, we probably are maybe a better team, but with him in the lineup, uh, they're obviously a top top two or three team in the state because of that, and uh, and that, that's that's the X factor right there. So uh, it's okay. I mean, we have had a, we've had a great year. We're not going to sit there and and the Holmes does a great team, and I think Chris Johnson does a great job, and his players do play well. So we we are happy for them, happy for us, and we just want to keep making this season the best it can be for us. Let's talk about this matchup tonight against Northside. You mentioned six nine. Well, they've got Jalen Butts. He's a young player, but also six nine. He doesn't have the 280 pounds on him, perhaps, yet. But uh, Sean McGee, also an important part of their program. Well, they have a number of talented players. And so, you know, they, they play a lot of confidence. Uh, they're very aggressive, and they've had a great season also. And losing all the guys they lost this year, they're somehow able to rebuild uh, with some transfers and so forth. And, and uh, But, again, they, you know, they, able, they like to get out and push it and run and pressure, and, and that's how they, they live off their, uh, their defense, too, a little bit. Some of the things you've pointed to as far as preparing for this ball game, the keys for Carroll to win. Well, take care of the basketball. Uh, not let them get 
uh, easy transi tra transition baskets. Uh, so you got to take care of it, and so they can't get the steals and so forth. And you got to rebound the ball. You can't let them climb on our backs, and, and you can't let them have multiple shots. So if we can do those things, we're going to be in a, with the chance to win the last two minutes. Head coach Marty Beasley in his 10th year as head man of the Carroll basketball program brings a team 19-2 into tonight's ball game. They finished 6-1 in the NHC, ranked number 10 in the, the current uh, most current 4A AP poll. They're even better in the uh, coaches poll at number 7 and very good here at home, just 8-1. That lone loss came against Homestead, one of the two losses they've only had this season. A year ago, the Chargers were 15-9. They lost in the sectional semifinals to Northside. 63 to 40. We are going to take a two minute timeout when we come back, and it'll be Northside Redskins' uh, chance to shine as we'll uh, check in with head coach Shabazz Kalik. When we come back, this is IHS Only Basketball on Fox Sports 1250, the ticket. Hi, this is Charlie Momper from Momper Insulation. After last winter's brutal temperatures and record-breaking wind chills, it's not too early to start thinking about adding insulation to your attic, side walls, and crawl space. By adding additional insulation, you can cut your energy costs up to 30%. Call Momper Insulation today at 432-7543. Momper, the number one name in insulation since 1956. Every small business person has the same dread, taxes, reports, and bookkeeping. What are you to do? You know you can't afford the big guys to keep you legal and solvent? Well, now there's Wallburn Financial Management to save the day. Here's their number. You're going to want to remember this one, 260-459-2240. That's 459-2240. Why? Well, Wallburn Financial Management specializes in the little guy. With reasonable rates and sensible retainers, Wallburn Financial Management simply perfect for the small business budget. You've heard the saying, it's all about the Benjamins. Nothing could be more true at Tom Steele Tire, where it's all about saving you money. For over 35 years, this family-owned business has been saving Fort Wayne drivers lots of Benjamins. Offering quality tires and ASC certified mechanical service for your car, and that includes an oil change and tire rotation special, all for just $24.95. Two convenient locations in Fort Wayne to serve you. Tom Steele Tire, not just a tire store, but a complete automotive center. From humble roots, some 30 years ago, the name Ruoff Home Mortgage has been built upon a legacy of making dreams of home ownership a reality. Loan officers Doug and Julie Carroll are proud to help you establish your roots with a mortgage for your new home. They understand that every borrower is different, and they work hard to get you a mortgage that fits your needs. Call the Carroll team at 602-9768 to find out which program is right for you. When you need a mortgage that is simple and straightforward from a hometown name you can trust, call Doug and Julie Carroll at Ruoff Home Mortgage, 602-9768. And now more Hoosier Hysteria action as we head back to the arena with Joe Parson on Fox Sports 1250, The Ticket. Let's talk a little Northside basketball here before tip-off. And uh, Coach, uh, as you mentioned, a great season. 11 straight wins coming off a win most recently at Dwinger by about 30, 35 points, 75 to 45, I think. But uh, you haven't played in two weeks. And I was just wondering if, you know, about the scheduling quirks. But one, one sideline is that uh, you do get a little extra rest in a, a tough season. It's very physical. That's got to help. Oh, without a doubt. You know, I think, uh, you know, we, we uh, you know, do our schedule so that around that Christmas time during that, that winter break we're very busy so you know at this point in time we get a little bit of time to rest before the postseason and, and retool refocus as to what our goals are um, so we get a chance to really um, you know dig in and get back to some of the fundamental stuff that can get lost throughout the course of the season um, and that's what we like about having this time off so you know hopefully we're not rusty uh, you know we'll see because we have three tough games coming up you know you look at uh, the makeup of your team you've got size you got quickness uh, and you got Sean McGee <laughs> break him down he's had another tremendous year for you you know one of your leaders on the floor, leading scorer as well. And what makes him so such a potent force on the basketball floor? Uh, I think he's competitive first and foremost. You know, he's the type of kid that hates to lose and, and does whatever it takes to win. He's he's, he's scrappy, he gets after it, he really competes and and, and makes things hard, uh, both offensively and defensively, because he stays in attack mode both as as a defender and as an offensive player. Um, and then a lot of times he brings a lot of energy for us. Um, he makes tough shots, and, and and that deflates teams. You know, when Sean hits a tough shot and teams 
Cubs play great defense. That deflates them, um, and that's that's what he brings for us, you know, to the table. But again, a four-year kid um, who has been in the trenches before and understands what our goals are, what our program philosophy is, who's able to lead some of these younger guys. Um, he's been essential for us to have the type of success we've had this year. As you mentioned, it's a tough stretch of games, and uh, it's hard to believe that the sectionals are just around the corner. But tonight it starts against Carroll, and uh, the charge is also with a good mix of size and quickness, the ability to hit outside chinny. Talk about how you view this matchup and what you've got to do for Northside to win. Um, you know, number one, we got to come out, we got to compete, we got to get after it. You know, we got to dig into their guys defensively, uh, make things difficult for them because they do a great job of, of running their stuff offensively. They're patient, uh, they work the ball, and they take the best shot possible every possession. It doesn't matter who gets the shot for them, they're willing to share the basketball. Um, and, and this is the year I think that they've been waiting for. This is the year that they prepared for. Um, they got a good group of seniors. Um, they got kids that have gotten better over the course of their careers. Um, so their goals are definitely bigger um, than what they have been in the past, I believe. Um, and they're, they're a focused team. They've had a great season. So we've got to come out and we've got to match that intensity. I think both of us are viewing this game. Obviously, it's a potential sectional matchup. But both of us are viewing this game as a measuring stick for you know where we're both at right now as, as, as a team um, going into the postseason. Head coach Shabaj Kalik with his take on the matchup here tonight for his Northside Redskins on the road at Carroll. Let's take a quick look at the games remaining. By the way, Northside comes in 17-4. and They finished 7-0 in the SAC, champions of the uh, Summit Athletic Conference, ranked number 17 on the road. They are a 5-2 and two basketball team. After tonight, they have two games remaining, and they'll play at 19-0. and Well, 19-1 and now. Leo got beat the other night by Dwinger, and then they'll host 21 home Homestead next Friday night. As far as the Chargers, also two games left, both on the road after tonight. Tomorrow night they'll be at 15 and 2 North Central in Indianapolis, and then next Friday night at Warsaw, taking on currently 17 and 3 the Warsaw Tigers. Other big matchups tonight: Homestead host to Snyder. Homestead at 20 and 1, taking on the Snyder Panthers at 15 and 4. Dwinger's home to East Noble. Bishop Lures hosting Gary Roosevelt. Other games, Heritage on the road at Concordia. Southside at Liberty Christian. Lions, by the way, are 17-3. And 19-1 and and now. Leo on the road at Lakewood Park. Here it is. Carroll hosting the Northside Redskins. We will take another three-minute timeout, and we'll be back with more, getting ready for this key intersectional matchup tonight. This is IHSW Basketball on Fox Sports, 12.50 the ticket. Where do savvy sports fans in the Summit City go when they need to know more than just the score? It's an easy choice. No other media outlet covers the local sports scene like the Journal Gazette. You get seven-day sideline coverage from the area's most experienced and knowledgeable sports staff. It's a commitment to Fort Wayne that the Journal Gazette takes very seriously. When you need to know the story behind the story, nobody delivers the goods each morning like the Journal Gazette. And even when you're on the go, you can still catch up on the latest sports news online at www.journalgazette.net or from your mobile device at www.jgmobile.net. Start your sports day right every day, seven days a week with the Journal Gazette. Hi, this is Tim Rooney. For over 30 years, I've been helping people just like you meet their investing hopes and dreams. For individuals in a high-income tax bracket, that may mean investing in tax-free municipal bonds. For others, we may just help them pick their best investment options inside their own 401k plan. For those kids approaching college, we can develop a college 529 plan that provides tax-free growth in addition to a $1,000 tax credit on your Indiana state tax return. It only takes a quick phone call to Stiefel to set up a no-obligation meeting to see what we can do to help meet your dreams. Just call us at 260-459-3989. That's 260-459-3989. And be sure to ask for Tim. Truth Talk with Frank. Big Cable raised its TV rates for 18 years. Frontier has a three-year internet price guarantee. That's the truth. Get Fios Internet for $19.99 per month with qualifying phone service. The truth will set you free from Big Cable. Switch today. Call 1-888-FRONTIER. Data on cable industry prices according to a May 2014 SEC report. Limited time offer. Taxes, fees, and other restrictions apply. Subject to availability. Fios marks owned by Verizon Trademark Services, LLC, and use under license. 
Miss a great high school game recently? Or simply want to revisit that game-changing electric play that turned everything all around? Well, now there's a great new opportunity to do just that. Catch all the exciting action of our live radio broadcast simply by visiting SummitCitySports.com after our game broadcast. Plus, many other high school sports highlights to choose from as well. It's all new and available now at SummitCitySports.com. At Meyer, we know saving money is important. So with m you'll find even more ways to save big. How big? More than $125 million in the past year big. Over 3 million families big. Saving over 15% more every year big. With m you can clip digital coupons, choose personalized rewards, and more. That all adds up to saving big. See Meyer.com slash savings for details. Save for yourself with m from Meyer. Sign up free at m and now more Hoosier Hysteria action as we head back to the arena with Joe Parson on Fox Sports 1250, The Ticket. Welcome back, everybody. You've joined us just in time as we get ready. Big crowd on hand here tonight for Friday Night IHSAA Basketball on Fox Sports. Glad you could join us. Northside on the road against the Carroll Chargers. Chargers coming out with their pregame warm-ups. Well, they won their 10th straight ball game Tuesday night at Snyder, beating the Panthers on a game-winning three-point shot by senior guard Jacob Redding. Coming away with a 53-50 victory. That was a close game all the way. Panthers led 24-21 at halftime. Game was tied after three quarters. Redding knocking down four threes on the night, including the game winner, finishing with 14 points. Kyle Mellers also with a big ball game. Pace Carroll with a game-high 19 points. He connected on three triples. Carroll shooting 43% from the floor. They also hit 8 of 19 three-point attempts for 42%. And another uh, key player for them uh, all season, Chandler White, solid game Tuesday night at Snyder. Nine points, five rebounds, four assists, four steals. Those latter three numbers, all leaders for the Chargers. As far as the Redskins, they have not played in two weeks. Their last game was February the 6th at Dwinger. Redskins coming away with the 77-45 victory of Bishop Winger. That triumph giving North its 11th straight win. Big second quarter propelled Northside to a 33-18 halftime lead. Redskins would go on. They added another 27 points in the third quarter in the 35-point victory. Four Redskins in double figures against uh, the Saints, led by Sean McGee, 19-point night, including three threes, led his team with four steals. Point guard Devontae Kinney added 16 points to go with eight rebounds and seven assists, seven assists uh, topping north side. Juwan Starks and Terrell Cruz also combined for another 25 points, eight rebounds and four assists. And 6'9", Jalen Butts, finishing with seven points, 12 rebounds, and three block shots. The Redskins also had uh, collected 14 steals in that ball game, and Butts uh, obviously a big figure here tonight against the 6'7", Kyle Mallers, and we're expecting a great matchup overall. Getting ready for the teams to uh, make their way to midcourt and uh, getting ready for the singing and playing of our national anthem. We'll be back with a look at the starting lineups and get this one underway at the Carroll Fieldhouse. This is IHSW Basketball. We'll be back in 60 seconds on Fox Sports, 1250 The Ticket. We all want the very best for our loved ones, and that includes our pets. AeroSense can give your pet dog the protection you want, along with the freedom to roam that your pooch wants, using Aero's Dog Watch Hidden Fence. Far cheaper, yet far more versatile than most traditional fences, Arrow's new Dog Watch Hidden Fence uses a simple learning program through an electric signal beamed to your dog's collar that gives an alert when he is reaching property boundaries. It's safe, simple, effective, affordable protection for Poochie. Call Arrow Fence at 260-471-PETS. The Dog Watch Hidden Fence, your dog's best bet, giving him freedom to roam. At Parkview Regional Medical Center, we know that life-threatening or severe problems requiring surgery can happen at any time. That's why, when the unexpected happens, our trauma and acute care surgeons are ready. They make up the region's only team of acute care surgeons board certified in both general surgery and critical care. They're here 24-7, not just on call, to diagnose, treat, and perform life-saving surgery. From emergency appendectomies to major trauma surgeries, our dedicated team is here round the clock, 
on site and in the medical center. And it doesn't stop there. Our acute care surgeons are backed by a full range of specialists and advanced technologies, all in a state-of-the-art facility. No wonder when it comes to trauma and emergency care, more people trust Parkview. Parkview Regional Medical Center. In an emergency, isn't this where you'd rather be? And now more Hoosier Hysteria action as we head back to the arena with Joe Parson on Fox Sports 1250, The Ticket. Welcome you back once again. Just in time, we get ready for the introduction of the starting lineups here tonight. North side against Carroll. By the way, the reserve game, interesting reserve game. Starting out with North side running out to a 10-0 lead. Carroll, though, got uh, caught on fire, and it was the Chargers took a 29-21 lead into the halftime dressing room. Chargers with a big win in the reserve game, 60-41. to By the way, hope you can stick around and join us at halftime if you're, you know, kind of the weather we've been having with all the cold if your car has been hard starting won't start at all we've got some interesting news from midwest america federal credit union coming up at halftime as susan goree will be joining us talking about a great uh, well a st patrick's day special they've got going on now till st patrick's day 2.41 special auto loan rate so uh, I, I believe that's 2.14 in fact let's make it even a little bit better but news about that coming up with our halftime interview at intermission. Let's take a look at the starting lineups for the Northside Redskins. We're expecting the front line of 6'1", 6'5", 6'9". The big player starting tonight will be Jalen Butts at 6'9". Joined by Jawan Starks and Sean McGee. The guards at point guard will be Devani Kinney, 5'9". And Terrell Cruz at 5'11". As far as the Carroll Chargers, front line that goes 6'3", 6'4", 6'7". Tallest player starting will be Kyle Mallers for the Chargers, a junior at 6'7". And he'll be joined up front by 6'4", Jeremy Kalanji. And Kellum Brown, a junior, also at 6'3". Jacob Redding expected to start tonight. Chandler White, also a 6'3", senior guard. Getting ready to get this one underway. Glad you could join us here tonight. Kalanji ready to jump at midcourt against Juwan Starks at 6-5. And here comes the tip. It's controlled by Carroll. We're underway as they try for the sweep tonight. As they won the reserve game, we mentioned 60-41. to With the ball out front, that's uh, Jeff Kalanji's make the start inside and drives and gave it off to Chandler White with a driving lamp off last and good. So Chandler White coming in averaging 14.2 points a ball game. And it's Carroll in the early lead here at home and 2 to nothing over the Redskins. With the ball right side, Devontae Kinney, the point guard between the rings, swings it. In the paint, here's a jumper off glass. No good. That's missed and falling out of bounds. It'll stay with north side as that ball went off of Carroll. Out of bounds. Mallers got a hand on it. Couldn't control it. Kenny on the trigger, baseline right, one in box inbounds play. Now they're going to hold things up just for a moment as uh, Starks has a shoelace issue. And we're ready to go to work once again. Kenny, take a long look, delivers on the wing, far side. McGee away from the basket, works in the key, 19-footers on the way, no good. Deep rebound, Carroll's got it, they lead it, 2-0 to nothing in the early going. And Kalanji again, last across the line, gives... Spread offense, left side, White holds the ball. On his hip, looks for a cut, that's Kalanji. Midway into the corner now to his twin brother, Jeremy Kalanji. Back out front, White launching a jumper short off the rim, rebound inside, turning and the putback is up and in. That's Jeremy Kalanji getting the start. He's averaging just under 10 points a ball game and Carroll forges out to a four nothing lead here. They'll set up man defensively, but well away from the basket at 6-9. Defended by Kyle Mallers. Entrance pass down low along the baseline. They'll bring it back out. Jumper's on the way. That's no good. Rebound is taken. Muscled by the Redskins. Here's a tied-up ball. Got away for a moment from Juwan Starks. 
And let's see, it'll be Carroll's ball. I believe they've called a timeout with 6.36 remaining in the opening quarter. 4-0 Chargers in the early lead. We'll be back in 30 seconds. This is IHSW Basketball on Fox Sports, 1250 the ticket. Allow me to introduce myself on Monday. It's not easy being me, what with so many people cringing simply at the sound of my name. I'm not sure why people hate me. I mean, somebody has to start the week off. But here's a loving gesture McDonald's is making to help you warm up to me a little more. Every Monday at breakfast, you can get a free small cup of freshly brewed hot McCafe coffee. Just tell them Monday sent you. Show your Monday a little love with a free McCafe coffee. Limited time only at participating McDonald's. No purchase necessary. You're listening to Hoosier Hysteria on WGL Fort Wayne, Fox Sports 1250, The Ticket. Chargers with the ball out of bounds. We're back underway, 632 remaining in the opening quarter. Chargers with the early 4-0 lead. White well away from the basket, rotating it out. Now the give, they'll bring it outside. And Jacob Hansen has checked in. One of the seniors recognized her tonight. Back out, Mallers. Mallers bounces to the corner. Kalanji, Jeffrey Kalanji looks to his brother instead, brings it up on the perimeter of Mallers. Mallers puts it on the floor a couple of times. Left-hand dribble, left of the key. And patient offense to the keynote right now as Hansen gives back to Chandler Wright. Crosses over into the paint, trying to finish with a scooping layup. Too strong, tipped up by Kalanji, no good. Battles for it instead. Northside's coming up, but they've got a break, and there'll be a foul from behind. That might have saved a transition basket. The foul is going to go against Carroll. Chandler White. Chandler White draws the first foul either way. And Northside still trying to get on the boards. They trail it 4 to nothing in the early going. Lob pass out high, but swings it near side. Looking now to McGee. McGee back out front, high to low. Down low with Starks, but they'll reset with McGee. They isolate. He'll take a three-pointer up. No good. Deep rebound. That'll be chased down by Chandler White. Into the forecourt right side. And bumped and fouled. And White, so let's see, I don't think they're going to call this a two-shot foul. He was in the process of making his drive. He'll go to Sean McGee. That is the first north side foul. Ball out of bounds on the common foul. Mellers thought about the three. Midway in the corner right side. Puts it on his hip now. He's got a dribble left and uses that. Back outside now. Kalanji working well away from the basket. Jeremy Kalanji and the shot inside no good. Northside tries for it. Mallers trying to tie up the Redskins, but here comes North into the forecourt door as Devante Kinney and the short jumpers up short on the rim would not go down. White clears off the rebound and lead pass into the forecourt. They're looking for Mallers top of the key jumper. Got it. Let's see. It's a three point. No, it's a two. Had a foot on the line. Mallers going to be credited for a deuce. So Mallers with his first two points of the night. 6-0 Carroll off to the hot start. Mallers averaging just under 14 points a ball game. He leads the Chargers with 19 block shots. Butts between the rings. Near side feed now. Devante Kitty. Motion offense right side as they try to set it up now to McGee. McGee looking for mid Butts midway. Down low baseline's open with a jumper. It's around no good. Tipped up and good. The follow-up. Is knocked down that time as Devante Kinney. Kinney coming from nowhere to bank that one up in north side on the board, trailing it 6-2 to two as we'll have a redskin foul as Devante Kinney, after that basket now getting the foul, his first team second. Well, the interesting thing about Devante Kinney, he's a sophomore at 5'9", but going hard to the offensive boards. Now posting inside, turning here is a Kenny Kalanji with a jumper, no good. He missed it, but a foul. And Kalanji with a basket already to shoot two free throws. Butts is going to draw that foul, the big fella, 6'9". Butts just a sophomore. First free throws of the ball game. Carroll leads 6-2, try and improve. Free throw on the way and good. Jeremy Kalanji. Brings in 15 block shots tonight's ball game. 23 steals, 44 assists. Carroll by five, trying to extend it out to a six-point lead, and they do. And uh, Jeremy Kalanji's got four points. And again, it's Carroll on top here at home by six. With the ball right side. Eight and one, Carroll at home. Trying to match up a little bit out of a zone defense. Basically man right now. And north side has started slowly. Kinney works the ball between the rings. 
Comes back with a right-hand dribble. High set offense. Got a screen from Butts. Works on the sideline right. Now McGee. McGee has to bring it back. Trying to threaten the dribble drive was Devani Kinney. Kinney again with 341 remaining here in the opening quarter. Northside's not been able to get into much of a flow offensively. Here's Kinney penetrating across the key off the weave. And McGee changes the shot, brings it to the corner, and starts with a jumper tipped high in the air after the miss. And we'll have a foul. And which way is it going to go against Carroll? This one may go against Jake Mahansom. That's his first, team second. And we'll see Jake Redding coming into the ball game, the hero from Tuesday night with a three-pointer at the wire to beat Snyder. Inbounds play for the Redskins. They've scored just one basket so far tonight. And here's a, in, a pass in the paint intended. And uh, now a scramble for Mallers on his knees, tied up by Juwan Starks. Alternate possession arrow is going to give it back to the Redskins. Here at the 319 mark. And the one in box inbounds, popping to the left wing. Terrell Cruz has actually now come into the ball game, nearly traveled with the ball. Brings it back to McGee. He'll back it out. Sets up the spread one for offense. Bounces on the wing. Penetrating. Here's a loose ball. That's dug out by McGee. And he put it on the floor. And it's off of Carroll out of bounds. Went off the foot of Kyle Mallers. And north side not finding much inside open. Carroll trying to clog up the middle. And once again, it'll be Kinney on the trigger. Taking a long look, and a five-second call could not bring it into play. So good ball denial on the inbounds play by the Carroll Chargers. And their defense gives them the ball back now. Looks like Northside is going to show some full-court pressure initially, but now they're going to drop back as Chandler White, middle of the floor, across, last across the line. Gives it on the wing left side. And Redding. Redding back to Mallers, top of the key. Off the weave, hands it off now to Kellum Brown. Brown flares it back out between the rings, looking left side and goes on Premier left side. Out front now, they'll take a look again to Jacob Redding. Now there's a stolen ball out front, and Cruz is going to be fouled as Mallers lost control of the ball. He will commit the foul, and that is going to be his first team foul, number three against Carroll. Probably saved the breakaway basket at the 231 mark, but it'll be ball out of bounds north side. Now they've got a double screen set up lob in that was not intended for Butts, but nobody home. Releasing is Jacob Redding with the right hand with the left hand layup, I should say. Jacob Redding beating the defense down floor. And now Carroll forges out to an eight-point lead at 10 to 2 here with just over two minutes remaining in the opening quarter. Lead pass, two-man game down low. They'll bring it back out. Here's Cruz spotting up, and jumper is around. Hangs on the front of the rim, no good, but McGee chasing it down. His jumper from three-point range, and falling down, he hit the three. Sean McGee. So that cuts the lead in half now. Skins, just their second basket of the night, but they've cut it down to 10 to 5. Inside of two minutes, time remaining. Redding gives low posters. Mallers circles. Trying to back down his man, turning with a short jumper, no good. Tipped out of bounds. It will go to Carroll out of bounds. We'll see Jeffrey Kalanji checking back in for Mallers now with 1.43 on the clock in the opening quarter. Jeffrey Kalanji, he'll trigger it into play. Baseline right. Looks for Brown. Boy, Kalanji was open. And they're, they're, now they find that we're going to have another five-second call, this time against Carroll. Boy, begging for the ball is Jeremy Kalanji off the left wing, wide open. Nobody picked him up defensively. And his brother never saw him. They'll talk about that tonight, won't they? <laughs> We're coming down to 93 seconds remaining in the opening court. Here's a little drive. A little runner is on the way. It's off to the left, but a foul. That should put Northside to the line. Devontae Kinney will be there. Give that foul to Redding. That's his first. That's the fourth team foul, but Kinney will go to the line, shooting two first north side free throws of the night. Little offset stance with a right hand flip shot. That's no good. Looking at some of the numbers, north side coming in 66% from the line for the year as a team. Same as Carroll's numbers, by the way, from the free throw line. Second to two on the way. This one in and out, no good. Tipped up, and what do we have? Whistles blue. 
And we're going to have a rebound foul in the lane against North. This may go on Starks. It does. Juwan Starks with his first. And both teams now with 14 fouls. A little bit uh, full court pressure again by Northside. And with Redding with the ball. Crosses over across the timeline. Continues on with the right hand bounce pass now. It'll come to Jeffrey Kalanji. And Jeremy Kalanji to the corner. Wing, they'll bring it away from the basket down. Delivery now to Kellen Brown. Or check it, they've got a new number in there. That's Jeremy Kalanji back in. Looks out front to his brother. And taking a look now, Jeffrey Kalanji trying to run off the screen and banks it up. A tough shot, but got it to go. Jeffrey Kalanji gets his first two points of the ball game. 12-5, it's Carroll here at home by seven. They'll pick up Kinney right across the line. McGee flashes out to take control near side. And they'll swing it right side now as they look down to Butts on the two-man game. But instead, it'll be Cruz. Handles for a moment, gives to McGee. McGee one-on-one, -on -one, trying to penetrate, gives to Butts, up and in. Jalen Butts able to position off the right side of the basket. He averaging just over eight and a half points a ball game. Gets his first deuce tonight. And that cuts the lead down for Carroll to five at 12-7. Final 18 seconds as we'll see if the Chargers can get the final shot here now. They'll bring it out front once again. Jeremy Kalanji swings it left side. Redding away from the basket between the rings. We're down to seven. We're down to six. Hanson looking out front, turning Chandler White. Long jumper. Got a three. Chandler White with five. And the three-pointer gives Carroll a lead of eight here at the end of the first quarter. 15-7. After the first eight minutes, we'll be back with quarter two action. Carroll on top. This is IHS Goalie Basketball and Fox Sports. 12.50 the ticket. Here are four things we bet you did not know about Rudy's in downtown Fort Wayne. Number one, did you know that Rudy's is open seven days a week, even on Sundays from one to five? Number two, that Rudy's is known for its very special St. Patrick's Day party, including a food truck and bagpipes. Number three, Rudy's displays art by some of the city and area's top talent. And number four, Rudy's is truly a local event center in the downtown area and now with an app that you can download at rudysshop.com. Discover Rudy's, close to Parkview Field, and treat all your senses. It's a new game when it comes to finding the right health insurance. Is your coverage compliant with the new Affordable Care Law? Even if you can find coverage, can you still afford it? Well, there are answers to your questions, but only if you look in the right place. And that right place is Virtue Insurance. Here in Fort Wayne, Jill Millhouse and Tim Bearman will wade through all the complexities of the new health care law and find you the right coverage and at the right price. But you better hurry because time to meet the new law is running out. Call Virtue Insurance today at 260-478. 49.95. Real insurance with savings you can believe in. And now more Hoosier hysteria action as we head back to the arena with Joe Parson on Fox Sports 1250, the ticket. Right here, it's 15-7. Our score in favor of Carroll. They've got the ball as we start second quarter action. Here we go now. Score elsewhere, Snyder in the early lead over Homestead, 17-13 in that ball game. Chargers with the ball. They'll bring it out front. Here's a turning three-pointer out front, and that's good. Knocked down now deep by Jacob Redding. He's got five points. And now the lead grows to 11, the biggest lead of the night for the Chargers. They've hit a couple of threes. Northside's hit one. Redskins been led by Sean McGee with a three-pointer. Now the Redskins sets up their half court. Here's a lob pass. Touch brings it back out now. It comes to Devonnie Kinney. Kinney looking down low, and it went off the foot of Juwan Starks and right out of bounds. So the unforced turnover gives the ball back to Carroll. Carroll led by Chandler White with five points. Jeremy Kalanji with a basket, two free throws. And here come the Chargers back on the attack offensively. They've got... Uh, there he is, Jones in the ball game. Four, Jacob, Redding. Jacob Redding hitting a basket now to make it 20 to 7. So the Chargers, they've been hitting now their last uh, three outside shots as McGee handles between the rings, looks on the perimeter near side, lob pass, Butts has got it, looks cross court at the line, Cruz with a jumper in and out, no good as Northside's not been able to hit those mid-range jumpers tonight. Rebound Jones and uh, looking to bring it in the forecourt. It's chased down by Jacob Redding. Spread offense now for Carroll. Jones swings it left side. Kalanji off the weave. 
And backing it out will be Mallers. They'll reset the offense. So it's Arius Jones, a 6'2 freshman. Another basket inside by Kellum Brown. Kellum Brown hitting. And we're going to take a timeout right now as it is Carroll. They're on a 7-0 run to start this second quarter against the Northside Redskins at the 622 mark. We'll step out. This is IHSW Basketball and Fox Sports 1250, the ticket. You're always on the go. Who says your banking can't be? How about when you're between classes and need to know for the deposit is made? Or maybe you're out shopping and need to transfer money. With Midwest America, simply log on to your smartphone or tablet, wherever you are, and enjoy the kind of banking you've always wanted. No more waiting in line. Just deposit your check on your schedule. Pay bills quickly so you can focus on what really matters. Midwest America, all together better. And now more Hoosier Hysteria action as we head back to the arena with Joe Parson on Fox Sports 1250, The Ticket. Elijah Holmes has checked into the north side lineup. He is a 5'8 sophomore. And off the screen comes McGee, picked up by Kellum Brown on a switch. Now they work out of a Carroll 1-3-1 zone defense. And here's a travel by Holmes, just checked in there. Marty Beasley telling us before the ball game that uh, Jake Graham and Avery Pfaff probably are not, uh, are not, well, I'll put it this way, they're doubtful for tonight. Coming into the ball game with an assortment of ills and injuries. And they've gotten Arius Jones into the ball game. He's in there right now. Freshman uh, 6'2 guard, full court press, and they've got uh, pressure in the backcourt, but across the line comes Redding. Redding giving it to the corner, spotting up for the three, and that's knocked down by Mallers back in there. Kyle Mallers, we've seen them hit from those spots from long range. Marty Beasley says, well, he's a shooter. And that'll make it 25-7, and now it is a 10-0 run to start the second quarter by the Chargers. They're out in front at 25-7. And there's going to be another tied up ball as we've got a timeout on the court with 534 remaining in the first half. 25-7. It has been all Carroll in the second period. We'll be back after this timeout. IHSW basketball on Fox Sports 1250 the ticket. Hi, this is Charlie Momper from Momper Installation. After last winter's brutal temperatures and record-breaking wind chills, it's not too early to start thinking about adding insulation to your attic, sidewalls, and crawl space. By adding additional insulation, you can cut your energy costs up to 30%. Call Momper Insulation today at 432-7543. Momper, the number one name in insulation since 1956. And now more Hoosier Hysteria action as we head back to the arena with Joe Parson on Fox Sports 1250, the ticket. A couple of scores from elsewhere uh, earlier. Leo in the second quarter was leading Lakewood Park at 23 to 6. Cherubusco also had an early lead over Fairfield at 21 to 11. In that uh, Homestead Snyder game, Snyder was leading that ball game. Uh, senior jo Jordan Geist was honored for surpassing 1,000 points before the start of the ball game. Holmes inbounds the ball. Northside has started slow here tonight. Holmes swings it left side. They've got Chris Hill into the ball game now. He's a 6'6 junior. Long three-pointers on the way. That won't fall for the Redskins. Rebound and Mellers. All the pass near side. Chandler White. Looks cross-court bounce pass. Tough pass to handle, but White gets it back now from Graham. Turning jumper on the paint. That's partially blocked. And Northside with Holmes away for it for the Redskins. Looping baseball pass. That's picked up by Chandler White. Cross-court two-on-one break and an easy transition lane once again for Jacob Redding. Redding now has got seven of his nine points in this second quarter and still Northside's not scored. They trail it by 20 big ones and now we'll have a foul out front. That one against the Chargers. It'll go on Kellum Brown. That's his first. Nobody for Carroll with more than a single foul. That is their fifth as a team. Redskins with Chris Hill on the trigger across the way in the forecourt. Rotating in the backcourt will be taken by Devontae Kinney. Kinney working with the right hand dribble, defended by Redding. Now bounces down low. Starks gives it back outside. 
They're trying to set up a screen weak side left, but instead it's McGee. McGee comes left of the foul unextended. Looks left, goes right. Now the jumper by Starks is on the way. In and out, no good. Rebound tipped to the corner, grabbed by Chandler White again. Carroll winning the run. Here is White bumped out front. There will be a foul from Juwan Starks. That's number two on Juwan. And it'll also be the 15 foul against Northside. They've got one to give. Still with 424 remaining here in the first half. Reminder, we've got that halftime interview coming up with Susan Goree from Midwest America Federal Credit Union. You're looking for an auto special rate. They've got one for you now through St. Patrick's Day. Back to live action. Redding in the bounds down low. Entrance pass. Here's Chandler White and posting up with a turnaround jumper. And no stopping Chandler White and the Chargers. He's got seven. And the re lead grows out to 22. Redskins just have not been able to get anything going offensively. They've been cold with their outside shooting. McGee, he'll try another three. This time he's got one. His second three of the game, he leads the Redskins with six. And that stops some of the bleeding here at 29 to 10. White again into the forecourt across the way. Sets up the spread, 1-4 offense. Works between the rings, now gives to Redding. Redding puts it on his hip one time. Out to Brown, they'll swing it to right side. Taking a look, away from the basket. And Hanson enters White with a three ball, but that's off to the right. Butts rebounds on the carom. Gives it to McGee, down the near side, he works. Trying to penetrate with a spinning play, up and missed with a short shot. And here comes Chandler White, leaving the Carroll break once again. Crosses over into the paint, trying to finish, lays it up and scores. Chandler White now with nine, makes it 31 to 10. Carroll's lead grows back to 21. They've led by as many as 22. Cruz far side, brings it on between the rings. Chris Hill handles for a moment. Now they'll bring it near side to Kinney. Now there's going to be an offensive foul and trying to create some space. That one may go on Jalen Butts. It will be Jalen second. And more changes in the Carroll lineup as Brown now checks to the bench and Kyle Mallers comes back in. Under three minutes time remaining in the first half. Full court pressure by Northside, but breaking the press. Here is Mallers spotting for a three, no good. Rebound contested again. White lost it though, and Northside wanting to run. Here's Kinney, stops at the paint, brings it back to McGee. Another three's on the way. This is short. Rebound tipped, and off of Carroll, out of bounds. It will stay with Northside. Kalanji is going to check back in. He started Jeffrey Kalanji. And Hanson will get a breather right now with 2.38 remaining in the half. Here's McGee coming off a screen, nice into the paint, and an offensive foul. And on McGee, that'll be his second. He becomes the third Redskin with as many as two fouls. And that is their seventh team foul. Now it's a player control fouls. No free throws coming up. But Carroll in the bonus the rest of the way. Full court zone pressure again. Mallers helps out though in the backcourt. Middle floor. They'll work it to the right wing. Here's a three-pointer. Knocked down from the right side. Jacob Redding. That's his second three ball of the game. He's in double figures with 12. And the lead grows to 24. Entrance pass Butts turning with the right hand. Missed it, but a foul. And the 6'9 sophomore will go to the line, shooting two. Give that foul to Redding. That's going to be his second. He becomes the first of the Chargers with as many as two. 16 foul. It's Butts going to the line, shooting his first free throws of the night. First one on the way. That's no good. They've yet to convert one. They're 0 for 3. Well, Shavaj Kalik was kind of speculating. He was hoping that the two-week layoff would not hurt. Second of two. Miss again from the line. Mallers. Clears it out right side and quickly. Redding out of the right corner. Looking for a cut. That's Kalanji with Mallers. Mid lane. Kalanji backs it out. Had his pocket pick. This will be taken by Terrell Cruz. And it's knocked away. And here comes Carroll back the other way. And Mallers with an easy bank shot up and in. So a big four-point turnaround. Mallers with seven. And the crowd 
The Carroll crowd rising to their feet in appreciation as their lead grows to 26. Big defensive play setting up the transition basket. Kenny trying to penetrate again, driving it in and scores. Devontae Kenny, he's got four points. 36-12, we've got 90 seconds remaining. For full court pressure again, but White across the line trying to finish scooping. Now he carried it. It went out of bounds, and Northside will get it back. He was trying to, off of his mid-air penetration, find a teammate off the left wing, but nobody home, and Northside gets it back down. Kenny again will walk it out of backcourt. Looks right side to Terrell Cruz. Cruz inside the hash mark. Two-man game. Look for Butts. Said they'll rotate it. Here's a robot play, and we'll have a three-second call against Northside. Butts trying to establish position in the paint, but too long in the middle. Chandler White now goes to the bench. He's got nine points, and here's Redding. He'll bring it out of backcourt, picked up still in the backcourt by Kinney. Works with the left hand, a little contact, spins across and stolen away. But kicking is Kinney, picks it up, drives it in, missed it, tips it up again, missed it again. And his second putback attempt is no good. Back comes Mallers for Carroll. Delivers, now that's stolen away again. Quick hands by McGee, trying to go coast to coast with a layup. It's no good, but the follow-up is cleaned up, and it is good by Terrell Cruz. Redskins not able to hit from outside, but they're hitting the offensive boards and trying to capitalize off their defense. Redding penetrating now, cuts through the lane, and knocked away, stolen again. And out of bounds, though, that time Kinney dribbled against the near sideline, out of bounds. Carroll will have it in their forecourt near side with 20.9 seconds remaining in the half. Jeffrey Kalanji on the trigger. Looking to the corner, Mellers comes out, top of the key between the rings. Willicks left side, fumble the ball, spots up and missed it, and a foul on the floor. No, a travel before the contact. Mellers not happy with that call, but Northside will have a chance for the final shot of the first half. Redskins have been averaging 69 and a half points a ball game this season. They've been held to just 14 here in the first half with just 15 seconds remaining. 1-4 offense again, Kinney. Looks right, picks up the dribble, roll off play. Now he's got Butts, baseline jumpers, good. Jalen Butts, second field goal of the night, 36-16. And they won't get another shot off as time runs out. So 36-16 here at the halftime break. As Carroll is led by as many as 26 points, they will take a 20-point lead to the halftime dressing room. Their lead over visiting Northside is 36-16. We'll take a two-minute timeout, and we'll be back, and uh, we'll tune in on that halftime interview with Susan Goree from Midwest America Federal Credit Union. 36-16 at the halftime break. This is IHSW Basketball on Fox Sports. 1250 the ticket. He's carpooling with co-workers. They're running late, and he wants to stop at McDonald's. Come on, it'll be quick. No. Minutes later, he spots a McDonald's. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Is that an asteroid? We better pull over to that McDonald's. John knows how to put a little loving in a morning. What would you do for love? Show your morning some love with an Egg McMuffin or Sausage McMuffin with Egg Sandwich made with specially cracked eggs. Get two of the same or one of each for only three fifty at McDonald's. More than time only. Prices and participation may vary. Price a single item on menu. You've heard the saying, it's all about the Benjamins. Nothing could be more true at Tom Steele Tire, where it's all about saving you money. For over 35 years, this family-owned business has been saving Fort Wayne drivers lots of Benjamins. Offering quality tires and ASC certified mechanical service for your car, and that includes an oil change and tire rotation special, all for just $24.95. Two convenient locations in Fort Wayne to serve you. Tom Steele Tire, not just a tire store, but a complete automotive center. From humble roots, some 30 years ago, the name Ruoff Home Mortgage has been built upon a legacy of making dreams of home ownership a reality. Loan officers Doug and Julie Carroll are proud to help you establish your roots with a mortgage for your new home. They understand that every borrower is different, and they work hard to get you a mortgage that fits your needs. Call the Carroll team at 602-9768 to find out which program is right for you. When you need a mortgage that is simple and straightforward from a hometown name you can trust, Call Doug and Julie Carroll at Ruoff Home Mortgage, 602-9768. At Meyer, we know saving money is important. 
so with m -Perks, you'll find even more ways to save big. How big? More than $125 million in the past year big. Over 3 million families big. Saving over 15% more every year big. With m -Perks, you can clip digital coupons, choose personalized rewards and more. That all adds up to saving big. See Meyer.com slash savings for details. Save for yourself with m -Perks from Meyer. Sign up free at m .com. And now more Hoosier Hysteria action as we head back to the arena with Joe Parson on Fox Sports 1250, The Ticket. We're going to change up real quick in uh, more of our IHSAA halftime show presented by McDonald's of Northeast Indiana. McDonald's, I'm loving it. And so is Mark Schutte from the Journal Gazette. He's joining us here at halftime. And, boy, you look at this game, and uh, I'm a little bit surprised, Mark, because, I mean, we knew that uh, home, uh, that Carroll was a very uh, potent offensive team. But Northside, you wonder if the two-week layoff hurt a little bit as they have just really struggled with their outside shooting. They just look really, really flat, um, slow to the ball, and obviously they're not shooting very well. I've got them for 7 for 25 from the field so far, which is very uncharacteristic for them. They usually like to push the ball a little bit. They just seem to step slow, and Carroll, obviously on senior night for them, and a big crowd is, is here to play tonight. Now, Northside did show some life late. They used their defense to set up some transition opportunities, but it's got to be very frustrating when they're missing the second and third point blank shots, and I know Shabash colleagues got to be working on that and trying to get some offensive flow. Yeah, and the, they did score the last what, six points of the, the half, and they came off turnovers, so I think that's their game. They want to force, score off of their defense, and, but, like you said, they did miss a lot of point-blank shots, and I, you could sense the frustration just in the kids' faces and reaction. You know, Marty Beasley's team, their only two losses this year against Homestead, and they look, uh, they, they really are superb as they execute. You know, they work it outside in, and if they can get the easy shot, and if they don't, they've got the three-point shooters with Mallers and Redding to knock them down. And these kids, you can just tell they played together a lot, and I mean, they worked the ball well together. Chandler at one point, Chandler White, I think for a few years was kind of the focal point, but now he's kind of more of a distributor at times and then can go to the rim still. And, um, they've got five guys on the floor that can score, especially with those kids you mentioned with Mallers and Redding. Mark Schutte from the Journal Gazette joining us here at halftime. We'll look forward to the story tomorrow morning in the Journal Gazette. All right, thank you. Appreciate Jeff. the visit. By the way, let's go right into that halftime interview with Susan Goree from Midwest America Federal Credit Union. It is halftime. Welcome back, everybody, with our IHSAA Game of the Week broadcast tonight. You know, it has been so cold out uh, this uh, this week and uh, recently this winter. And uh, that still, in this economy, everybody's still looking to save some money. And uh, we want to talk about auto loans here with Midwest America. Joining us tonight is Susan Goree. You know, uh, Susan, this time of year, as we mentioned, with the cold weather, it's been brutal. And uh, maybe that car, after sitting outside, uh, slow starting, won't start at all. And then you start thinking, hey, maybe it's time I start looking for a new set of wheels. And Midwest America's got a great special going right now on an APR 2.14 APR on a new car or, or a refi and I want to get I want to have you uh, give us the opportunity to uh, give us the details on that but a great time and it goes all the way up into St. Patrick's Day the wearing of the green and a chance to save some green. Tell us about it. That's right, Joe. I mean, it's a really good special going on right now. It's a great time. If you're needing a new vehicle or if you just, maybe you're paying a higher rate. Maybe your credit has improved and when you took out the loan, you were at a little bit higher rate. Maybe we can refinance you at the 2.14. It's a great rate. Um, on 2012 or newer vehicles, you can go up to 60 months. Um, so we can ex still extend it out a little bit if you're trying to keep your payment low. Um, but it's just a great time. The rates are still real, real good for auto loans right now. And you've got even another bonus. You can also def defer your first payment up to 90 days. Another great way to save some money early on. That's right. I mean, 90 days you can save that money. You could bank that money. Maybe plan for a nice warm vacation. Everyone's thinking of that right now. Um, or you could just, you know, use it to kind of get ahead. Um, but yeah, we will defer your payment for 90 days. Now, I know you've got 11 branches in the Fort Wayne area. Let's talk about the process. Somebody's hearing this message here tonight. Uh, I know they can go to the website, MidwestAmerica.org, get some information. But it's, uh, it's kind of a continuing, but not 
totally unlimited time period on this special 2.14 rate, but how do you qualify? What's the process? Well, basically, you know, if you just want to stop in one of our branches or you can call um, call one of our branches and talk to our call center, we'll take an application. Um, what's, you know, great is we'll have someone that can get a decision, you know, quickly. Sometimes within 15 minutes we can have a decision if you're approved. Um, it's just a matter of getting some information and getting that submitted and getting an approval for you, and you can even close the same day a lot of times. You know, we were talking earlier. I want to talk if, uh, and discuss a little bit the process because there was a time, and I guess my question is, what comes first, the chicken or the egg? You know, do you go shopping for the car, find out uh, what you're, you're uh, uh, qualified for in terms of uh, the cost of the car, or do you come in and talk to Midwest America first? You, you tell us which is the right process. Well, that's a good question, Joe. I mean, I would suggest call us up, tell us what you're thinking about paying. You know, most people have an idea of what they're wanting to spend on a car. Um, we can go and get you a pre-approval. You don't have to know what car you want when you do the application. That way, when you go into the dealership, you know, hey, I'm approved for this amount. You know which cars you can look, you know, look for, and you have a little bit more confidence when you're shopping. Susan Gorey from, uh, and by the way, that, that 2.14 is also good on, and I think you touched on it, on let's say you've got an existing loan on a 2012 or newer model, but maybe higher interest rate, mm -hmm. take a look at uh, Midwest America can help you on that also. Yes, that's correct. We can do refinances. Maybe you have a car that you've paid down and you'd like to get some money out of it to use for something else. We can take that balance back up um, if you have some equity in it and lock you in at the 2.14 and make that equity work for you. St. Patrick's Day coming up, the wearing of the green. Let's save some green. Let's talk a little bit about uh, refis on home mortgage loans, still among the most attractive around here at Midwest America Credit Union. And, uh, you know, we've talked in the past about the seven and done uh, program. There's also a 10 and done, a great chance to shave not years just off your mortgage, but uh, also some uh, some interest saves. And, and give us some examples on a $100,000 loan that maybe you've got a 30-year uh, loan and maybe a couple of examples to put it in concrete terms for us what you can save. Sure. Well, this is a great opportunity. Mortgage rates are still low. Um, but for example, Joe, like if you had a 30-year mortgage, right now the 30-year is at 3.75, which is a really good rate. Um, but just taking that really low rate, even on a 30-year, um, you're looking at a payment about 464 a month. But your interest that you'd pay over the life of that 30 years is right around $67,000. Now, versus if you wanted to do a 10 and done on that 100000 your rate would be 3.29. Um, your payment would be about 980 but you would save almost $50,000 in interest. <laughs> so you're shaving 20 years off and you're saving 50000 I mean, it's a win-win deal. No question about it. And uh, another big attractive uh, uh, benefit of these seven and done and 10 and done programs on the refi home mortgage loans, uh, both options carry the $199 origination fee and no closing costs. That's right. I mean, if you're borrowing 70% or less of the value of your home, um, you can walk out paying $199 for a refinance. Now, if you needed to do an appraisal, there would be a little additional fee for that. But most people, if you have some equity in your home, the majority of our members were able to do it for $199. I want to close because you touched on a, a key component I thought earlier about the local access and contact. Uh, you know, frustration with some of the other big banks is that if you've got a question about a loan or whatever, you, you go into voicemail and uh, maybe you're talking to Chicago or L.A. Right here, the underwriting staff for Midwest America is right here. They live here. They work with you right here in the Fort Wayne market. And uh, that makes the whole process much simpler, doesn't it? It does. We have a dedicated underwriting department that when you come in and do an application, um, they are looking at it here locally. That's why we get decisions so quickly and get them turned around. And when it comes comes to mortgages, if you yourself have not had where you've had your mortgage sold and had a nightmare, just ask a friend or a, f a neighbor and someone's going to tell you a nightmare story that they've had where their mortgage was sold several times, where maybe they, uh, you know, their payments didn't arrive where they were supposed to and it's caused late fees and, and things. But what's great about Midwest is you can make your payments here. We will take care of your escrow here. You can come in and see us if you ever have a question or problem. And that's a big advantage. Susan Gorey uh, bringing us up to date on some great auto rates along with 7 and Done, 10 and Done refi pro programs at Midwest America Federal Credit Union. We're back to live action, and we've got a foul that goes against Carroll. This one will go against uh, Kyle Mellers. That's his second first team foul. As an, Here's Butts blocked to the hoop and scramble for the loose ball. We'll have a tied-up ball, and Carroll will get it back. 
Let's take a quick look at other scores. 36-16 here in the early moment of the second half. Carroll with the ball and the lead. Full court pressure once again by Northside as they try to create some turnovers to key up their uh, their offense. But uh, Redding will take it out of backcourt and works with the left hand. Crosses over. Still in the backcourt. He comes across and lost the ball. And here comes Butts knocked away and stolen way back by Redding. Tripped up a little bit. He might have turned an ankle. He goes down. As here's Kalanji and it went off his foot out of bounds. No. Off of north side. Other scores that we have, and here's the one that gets your attention at the half. Snyder leading over Homestead. Get this one, 38 to 28. Rating coming up limping noticeably. So Marty Beasley up to a check on him. Some other scores. Dwinger in the lead over East Noble, 25-7. That was the end of the first quarter. East side over Angola at the half, 38-23. Liberty Christian, 36. South side, 33 at the half. Inbounds play. Maller spots for three. In and out. And it's good. 13. Mellers rattles down his second three ball of the contest. He's in double figures now with 10. And it's 39-16. to 16. Here's a ball knocked away. And it will go back to Carroll. Lead of 23. Carroll's led in the first half by as many as 26. They led by eight at, into the first quarter, 15-7. Hurry up offense as Mallers, far side. Trying to threaten the dribble drive, comes in the paint, but lost the ball, and that's taken in a backcourt foul on Mallers, trying to get it back. That will be his third. So two team fouls now against Carroll in the second half. And Mallers will leave the ball game. So back comes Jacob Hansen. So Carroll right now with a little smaller lineup. Brandon Johnson has checked in to start the second half. And the quick hands deflecting it away was Arius Jones for Carroll. So the freshmen may see a lot of minutes now in the second half. 6.35 remaining in the third quarter. Inbounds play, McGee delivers to the backcourt. And across the line on the point. That is Devontae Kinney. Kinney flaring off to the right side, looks on the two-man game, bounces down to Starks. Jawan Starks, high post, looking for a weak side cut, and the ball away, deflected by Carroll. North side will have it again. In the forecourt across the way. Boy, Marty Beasley did not like that call, did not see the deflection, but it stays with north side. Johnson again on the trigger. McGee comes out to handle. Sideline left. Got a screen from Butts. And a long jumper's on the way. And that's a three ball by Sean McGee. He's only got three baskets tonight, but all three from three-point range. He's hit all three of Northside's triples. And it's 39 to 19. Jones handles the ball back near the timeline. Man defense now by the Redskins. Looks near side for Hanson. Hanson. Rotation out front, roll-off play, and that's a bad pass. And it's out of bounds off of north side. And again, from here, it looked like it might have gone off Kalanji, but uh, it'll stay with Carroll. Marty Beasley up and talking to the official the other way. You always wonder if sometimes you're going to see some of the makeup calls. A jumper out of the corner, no good by Hanson. Rebounded by McGee. North side on the attack now. Here's McGee behind the back dribble. Cuts to the key. Picks up on the dribble and brings it back outside to Johnson. Baseline jumpers on the way. Flat shot no good. But a follow-up. It'll count and a foul. Joanne Starks his first points of the night. So he'll have a chance for the three-point play on the Charger foul that goes to Chandler White, his second. That is their third as a team, and Marty Beasley wants to talk things over for the Chargers. 5.35 remaining, and it's 39-21. Carroll still comfortably on top. This is IHSW Basketball on Fox Sports, 12.50 the ticket. Did you know the IRS tax code now consists of nearly 80,000 pages of rules and regulations? It's enough to make you cry. But now there's real affordable help right here in Fort Wayne. Wahlberg Financial Management, a firm that cuts right through the legalese, working hard for you, providing external solutions to bookkeeping and tax problems. Wahlberg Financial Management, taking flawless care of all your personal reporting, P&L, or even individual tax requirements. Give them a call, 260-459-2240. You'll sleep better at night being assured everything's taken care of. Wahlberg Financial Management. And
And now more Hoosier Hysteria action as we head back to the arena with Joe Parson on Fox Sports 1250, The Ticket. Free throw on the way, and that rattles around and no good. Redskins hold for five, but here's a loose ball picked up and a reverse layup by McGee is good. And now we've got Brandon Johnson on the floor, slow getting up. Looks like he's going to be okay. So it's a 7-3 run by Northside at the start of the second half. Full court pressure again, and Buck steals the ball away. The Skins have got it. Out front, Kinney. Looking back to McGee, another three falling away. Got another one from deep again. McGee with his fourth three. He's got eight of his 14 points in the quarter. Chandler White, 39-26. The lead is down to 13. Now Brown, they're going to go to four quarters and spread things out in the Carroll attack. Brown between the rings, scrambling for the ball. He lost it, and now we have a tied-up ball and a whistle. Officials coming over, there may be a north side foul. It goes on Kinney, that'll be his second. Just the first team foul against north side in the second half. Arias Jones rotates in the backcourt's got control of it for the Chargers. Now they're feeling some of that pressure by north side that we saw right at the end of the first half. Brown, midway right, away from the ball. McGee, I believe, on a hold, trying to front Chandler White. That'll be his third foul. Two quick ones against Northside. And Jeffrey Kalanji will re-enter the lineup for Carroll. Still 4.54 remaining in this third quarter. Inbounds play comes to Kalanji midway right. He'll back it back out. Looks down low. They had a double screen down in there, but weak side left. They'll bring it out now to Jeffrey Kalanji. Hands to his twin brother. Left side out front, Arius Jones. Swings it right side of Kellum Brown. Trying to find Chandler White. A lot of contact away from the ball. Now, give near side. Arias Jones penetrating baseline. Picks up the dribble. Looks for, here's a tough pass. Came over to Kalanji. Then he lost the ball. Out of bounds. It'll go back to north side. Marty Beasley with hands extended. Saying, you got to take care of the ball. Play under some composure. 39-26. And north side pecking away at it. Here's Brandon Johnson near side. Two-man game, looks for Starks. Double low post, Betts is, Butts is down there as well. Now it's Cruz handling. Brings it on the perimeter left side, Kinney. Kinney looking out front for Brandon Johnson. Still with the ball now. Kinney knocked away, but he retrieves. We come down to four minutes, time remaining in the quarter. Johnson, right of the foul line extended, comes away from the basket again. Out front now to Cruz. Cruz, top of the key. Drives into the key, turning. Fall away jumper is no good, wide left. But a foul will put him to the line, shooting two more free throws. North side is 0 for the night from the line. 35, Give that foul to Jeremy Kalonji, just his first. It is the 14 foul against Carroll. Cruz at the line, and this one is no good. They have yet to hit a free throw tonight. 0 for 6 tonight from the free throw line. Cruz with an earlier basket in the second quarter. Looking for the 27th point. Trying to cut it to 12 and finally breaks through. Cruz averaging 7.3 points a ball game. Comes in with 21 assists and 20 steals. Dribbling through traffic. Here's Jones trying to finish. Lost the ball down low. Scramble for it again. And now we're going to have a tied up ball. And let's see the alternate possession arrow favors north side. So it's a 12-point ball game, 39-27 at the 341 mark. On the bench right now, Mallers. And Redding uh, turned an ankle earlier, well away from the basket. Here's a cut on the lane, and they've got Starks with the left hand banking it home. Juwan Starks now with four points all in the second half. And it's a 10-point game at 39-29. Jones again picking his way across the line and bumped a little bit. And Marty Beasley not happy about the no call. Now Kalanji, two-man game. Chandler White trying to back his man down. Brings it out, threw it away. That's safe from going out of bounds. Kalanji's got it, cuts the lane, trying to finish with a finger roll and good. Jeremy Kalanji, his first point since the opening quarter. He's got six. 41-29. It's Carroll back to 12-point lead. Cruz. 
Right of the key out front, Butts lining up Chandler White. We're approaching two and a half minutes time remaining. Pull up jumper mid-range. That's no good. Rebound. One hand rebound. There is it's Kalanji giving to his twin brother inside, banking it up and good. So Jer Jeremy Kalanji gets the basket set up by his brother Jeffrey. Jumper from the corner, no good for North Side. Loose ball again. Kick Carroll's got it, wanting to run. Here's Kalanji. Stop and go move now, middle of the fork, across the line. He comes trying to finish. Knocked high in the air. And there will be a two-shot foul coming up and going to the line. It'll be Jeffrey Kalanji shooting his first free throws of the night. Give that foul to Butts. That is his third. Becomes the second Redskin with as many as three fouls. Juwan Starks has got three. Jeffrey Kalanji with a basket tonight. Looking for his third point. 43-29 at the 219 mark. Free throw on the way to Randall's good. Carroll hit four threes in the first half. Kellen Brown ready to re-enter for Carroll. Checking out will be Jeremy Kalanji. Chargers have shot just three free throws tonight so far, but they've converted on all three. Trying to make it four for four. Right hand release on the way, perfect. So good concentration by Jeffrey Kalanji. He's got four points, 45-29. Here's Cruz with the ball on the forecourt right side. Dribbles a couple of times with a right hand dribble, looking on the two-man game, can't find Starks. Kenny lost the ball. Scramble again, still loose, now picked up. Here comes Carroll, three on two, down inside, faking and going up, it'll count Jones. Arias Jones, the freshman, with a chance for the three-point play on the north side foul. So the Redskins, with a run, got back within 12 points, but now that foul will go against, well, they've got Starks with three, will keep him with three, but it is gonna be the 14 foul. Free throw is good by the freshman. So Arius Jones with a key three-point play to make it 48-29, the lead back at 19. Inside of two minutes, time remaining, Cruz near side. Top of the key, they look for the roll up. Butts is there and banks it home. Jalen Butts set up nicely out front by Juwan Starks. 48-31, Kenny applying the backcourt pressure. But it's Jones, gets it over now to Brown. They spread things out on the half court. Brown penetrates to the key. Right side feed now deep in the corner. It'll come to Jeffrey Kalanji. Back out, Carroll patient offense. Brown near side, looked in the white. High, low, they've got Chandler White down. Trying to back down his man. Up and under move, banks it up, it won't go, but a foul. And Chandler White creating in the paint down low. He'll go to the line shooting two. Give that foul to Cruz, just his first. Team foul number five, Northside still with one to give and 117 on the clock here in the third quarter. Chandler White has not scored in the second half. He had nine first half points, including a three ball in the opening quarter. Free throws on the way and that rim's good. He's in double figures with 10. Carroll still without a miss tonight from the free throw line. Their lead is 18, and their lead is 19. 11 points now for Chandler White. Came in averaging just over 14 points a game. Cruz well away from the basket near side. Looked to Butch for a moment. Starks launches one, no good, deep rebound. That comes to Arias Jones of Kara. Outlet pass near side. Stop and go move, Hanson lost his pins, brings it back to the corner. Driving it in, Kalanji trying to bank it home, no good, and tipped out of bounds off of Carroll, and It'll come back Northside's way with under a minute time remaining in the quarter. Big games coming up yet for both these teams as far as Carroll. They're on the road tomorrow at North Central in Indianapolis. North Central is 15 and three. The next Friday night at Warsaw, long jumper by McGee, no good. From three point range and he is fouled by Kalanji and he'll have three chances from the line. Jeffrey Kalanji, his first. That gives Carroll their 15 fouls. So McGee is first free throws of the night. First one good. Two more coming. We mentioned tough games for Carroll. How about Northside? They're at 19-1 Leo Tuesday night. 
Then they host 21 Homestead next Friday night. Another conversion by McGee. He's got 16 points. Ten of them have come in this second half. And the third conversion will make it 50 to 34. The lead chopped to 16 with 46 seconds remaining. Try to trap the ball and let's see if Marty Beasley's pacing on the bench. Thought he might have been ready to call a timeout. Trying to settle his team down again. They're chasing the ball. A lot, of, a lot of pressure on it, but breaking the press comes Chandler White trying to drive it in, and there'll be a foul on the floor this time. It'll be the 16 foul against Northside. That goes on Kenny, and that'll be Devante's third foul. He joins Juwan Starks with three each. The next Northside foul will have Carroll in the bonus the rest of the way. Inbounds play quickly now at 38 seconds coming. Kalanji gives to Jones right side. Looking to Brown now. Midway in the corner right side away from the basket. Now to Chandler White between the rings. They'll swing it on the perimeter left side. Back to Kalanji again. Tries to create a little space against Kinney's defense. Comes right side. Looks for Brown. Brown now bounces off to Hansen. Hansen entrance pass mid lane. Here's White splitting the defense. Lost the ball. Chandler White gets it back. Looking, looking down low. Penetrating. Rolls up and no good. Tipped up and out of bounds. It'll go to north side with 3.9 seconds remaining in the quarter. Carroll won the reserve game 60-41 to after trailing 10-0 to start that ball game. Here in the varsity game, 50-34. to They're up 16. Half court shot on the way, but no good off the rim. And it will be a 16-point lead for the Chargers headed to quarter four action. We'll be back. This is IHSWA Basketball on Fox Sports, 1250 the ticket. At Parkview Regional Medical Center, we know that life-threatening or severe problems requiring surgery can happen at any time. That's why when the unexpected happens, our trauma and acute care surgeons are ready. They make up the region's only team of acute care surgeons board certified in both general surgery and critical care. They're here 24-7, not just on call, to diagnose, treat, and perform life-saving surgery. From emergency appendectomies to major trauma surgeries, our dedicated team is here round the clock, on site and in the medical center. And it doesn't stop there. Our acute care surgeons are backed by a full range of specialists and advanced technologies, all in a state-of-the-art facility. No wonder when it comes to trauma and emergency care, more people trust Parkview. Parkview Regional Medical Center. In an emergency, isn't this where you'd rather be? And now more Hoosier Hysteria action as we head back to the arena with Joe Parson on Fox Sports 1250, The Ticket. Well, we head to the fourth quarter and uh, Northside got it down to 12 points at one point after trailing by as many as 26 in the contest. But now it's Carroll now inside of eight minutes time remaining trying to pick up their 20th win of the year. Kalanji. Back in the ball game, that is Jeremy Kalanji gives midway in the corner left side to his twin brother back to Kalanji driving in a foul to the hoop. I believe this will be a two-shot foul. And on north side, it will go against uh, Cruz. That is just his second. But Carroll in the bonus the rest of the way now with 7.43 remaining. Jeremy Kalanji, two for two in the opening quarter from the line. Shooting two here, first one on the way, and that remains good. Kalanji with his ninth point of the night. Other scores in that Snyder Homestead game. Last report, 51-44 Snyder midway through the third quarter. Another conversion by Kalanji, 52-34, lead at 18. By the way, we're told that Tom Izzo out of Michigan State and Matt Painter of Purdue in attendance. Turnaround jumper, and that's on target by Starks. Zero, Juwan Starks. So Starks heating up a bit. He's got six points. They've all come in the second half, 52-36. Pressure again as Kalanji spins away from pressure in the forecourt. Picks up the dribble, finds Brown. Jump pass near side. This time it'll be Jeffrey Kalanji away from the, the basket to Arius Jones. Remember, Carroll was already working tonight without Jake Graham and Avery Fath, and then Jacob Redding turning an ankle. 
So three of their uh, quicker, smaller players not available. Jumper left side. Reynolds good. Mid-range jumper is knocked down by Jeremy Kalanji. He's got a dozen points. 54-36. We're inside seven minutes. Time remaining. Now Chris Hill handles the ball. Flares off to the right side. Brings it out to McGee. McGee drives in. Looking the back door. And a good block by Kalanji. So back comes Carroll on the break. Mellers looking. Spots up for the jumper. In and out. No, and it is good. It'll be a two. Mellers getting the shooter's roll. He's got 12 points. And a ball knocked away. McGee holding his left hand. He might have jammed it. 6-16 remaining. 56-36. Carroll the ball leading by 20. And a ball getting away. Knocked away from uh, Kalanji on the drive. Trying to penetrate into the paint. Jeffrey Kalanji. And he'll do the inbounds triggering here on the baseline. Northside's going to make a change in their lineup now as Brandon Johnson, the 6-1 freshman, will come into the game in... He'll replace Terrell Cruz. So Jeffrey Kalanji on the trigger. Off the one and box inbounds play. Mallers is open. He'll take the quick three. This time it's an air ball. Knocked away from Brandon Johnson, but retrieving Kenny. And from midair, Juwan Starks could not finish. But Mallers trying to come in there and grab that blue ball. Carried it out of bounds. North side with it out of bounds underneath. Kenny on the trigger. See how they're going to step, set up on the inbounds. Kind of a modified stack in the lane. Quick releasing jumper by McGee, and he falling away, hits another three. McGee knocks a tough one down, and we will take a break right here. It'll be a one-minute timeout at the 5.59 mark, 56-39. It's a 17-point ball game when we return to the Carroll Fieldhouse. This is IHSW Basketball on Fox Sports, 12.50 the ticket. Where do savvy sports fans in the Summit City go when they need to know more than just the score? It's an easy choice. No other media outlet covers the local sports scene like the Journal Gazette. You get seven days sideline coverage from the area's most experienced and knowledgeable sports staff. It's a commitment to Fort Wayne that the Journal Gazette takes very seriously. When you need to know the story behind the story, nobody delivers the goods each morning like the Journal Gazette. And even when you're on the go, you can still catch up on the latest sports news online at www.journalgazette.net or from your mobile device at www.jgmobile.net. Start your sports day right, every day, seven days a week with the Journal Gazette. Truth Talk with Frank. Big Cable raised its TV rates for 18 years. Frontier has a three-year internet price guarantee. That's the truth. Get Fios Internet for $19.99 per month with qualifying phone service. The truth will set you free from Big Cable. Switch today. Call 1-888-FRONTIER. Data on cable industry prices according to a May 2014 SEC report. Limited time offer. Taxes, fees, and other restrictions apply. Subject to availability. Fios Mars owned by Verizon Trademark Services, LLC, and used under license. You're listening to Hoosier Hysteria on WGL Fort Wayne. Fox Sports 1250, The Ticket. Back to live action now. Carroll in the forecourt with the ball. They lead at 56-39. We're approaching five and a half minutes. Time remaining. Mallers dribbling out front between the rings. Lost it. It's dug out, though, by Kellum Brown. Picks up the dribble, top of the key. Looks right back to Mallers. He looks right into the corner, brings it back out now. And here's a little touch foul. And that one goes to Starks, and I believe that's going to be his fourth. So Carroll again going to the free throw line now with one plus one. Chandler White was on the bench. He'll come back in, replacing Kellum Brown. After three quarters now, Snyder continues to lead over Homestead. 58-46 in that one. Here it's 56-39. Carroll. Kalanji at the line. First one. Line drive free throws good. Kalanji now to shoot the bonus. He's got 13 points. Boy, McGee had just six points at halftime. He now has 20 for the Skins. And the second one is good. And Carroll yet to miss from the free throw line here tonight at home. 58-39 lead. Push back to 19. Here's McGee. He'll launch another long one. And this is another three. His sixth three of the game. 20. Three points now for McGee. 17 in the second half. Here's Kalanji. Now check it. It's Jones uh, trying to drive and reach in foul. Northside trying to maybe trade one or two for three at the other end. 
But the foul will go to Kenny. That's his fourth. He joined Starks with four fouls. Ishwaz colleagues got to ride the Rapids right now with 5.05 with two of his key players. Here's a miss now, the first miss of the night. That one by Arius Jones. And now air balls put up in North side coming up empty on that possession, and Carroll will get it back with 4.58 remaining. And they're going to stay with a full court pressure. Malice handles near side. Works with a right hand dribble quickly, trying to come across the line. Reverses out of there, and he'll find Kalanji. Bounces away. Mallers between the rings. Kalanji near side to Chandler White. Back to Mallers. Tried to drive into the paint, but turned back. Chandler White between the rings. Little delay game right now, favoring the clock favors Carroll. They lead it 58 42. We're exactly four and a half minutes time remaining. White rotates out to handle. Trying to threaten the dribble drive, backs it back out, gives to Mallers. Mallers two main game with Kalanji, but they'll bring it back out. Arias Jones, entrance pass, tough pass down in there, into the paint, turning, looking, and the turnaround jumper is up and no good, missed by Kalanji, but he gets the ball back, and now what do we have here? <laughs> Trying to battle with Juwan Starks, and Juwan Starks picks up that foul, and that is his... That is going to be his fifth. So he will foul out at the 412 mark. First player either way to foul out. That's going to bring Jalen Butts back into the ball game. It is also the 10th team foul, so double bonus now the rest of the way. Kalanji, six for six tonight from the line. Shooting two. First one is good. He does not put a lot of arch on that shot, but obviously very effective with it. He's got 15 points, looking for number 16. On the way again, and same result. Carroll just one miss tonight. It's coming this fourth quarter from the free throw line. Crossing over Kinney, trying to finish in traffic. Taken away after a block by Mallers. Back comes Carroll the other way. Nice move by Jones, got away, and brings it out now. Taking a look, they'll work to, little bank shot comes off by Kalanji, no good. Rebound, North runs back the other way. McGee off the uh, jumper, at no good. Little floater off the left wing, would not fall. Carroll back the other way, and uh, lost ball. Picked up and lost by Chandler White. He'll scramble for it again, and we will have, what, a timeout or a tied up ball? Officials looking, and uh, they will have, instead a foul, called against Chandler White. That is his third. And it will be the 16th foul against Carroll, so the next one in Northside will be at the line. 338, though, remaining. 60 to 42, our score. Kinney flaring off to the right side and threw it away into the backcourt. Was it deflected? Apparently it was. So no over and back. Here's Brandon Johnson. Kick out pass to the wing. Jumpers on the way. And that's a three ball knockdown. That was Chris Hill. His first point of the night. But from three point range. And north side back within 15. Still over three minutes time remaining. Mallers top of the key goes left side. White again looking for Arius Jones. They want to trap him in a tough pass. Chandler White's got it and threw it away. Butts now for north side. Lead pass right side. Spotting up McGee. Another three ball. He's hit three of them in this fourth quarter. And his seventh three of the game. 60 to 48. It's back to a 12 point game. Here's Jones looking and bounces off a of north side. It'll be retained by Carroll. As Kellum Brown ready to check in to the Carroll lineup. Jeffrey Kalanji will get the breather. North side, just when you think they're done. McGee with a dagger again from three-point range. There'll be a timeout on the court. 2.42 left and not done yet are the Redskins. 60-48 to 48 our score, though. Carroll on top. And this is IHS to play basketball on Fox Sports. 12.50 the ticket. At Meyer, we know saving money is important. So at m -Perks, you'll find even more ways to save big. How big? More than $125 million in the past year big. 
over 3 million families big. Saving over 15% more every year big. With Ember, you can clip digital coupons, choose personalized rewards and more. That all adds up to saving big. See Meyer.com slash savings for details. Save for yourself with Emperks from Meyer. Sign up free at Emperks.com. And now more Hoosier Hysteria action as we head back to the arena with Joe Parson on Fox Sports 1250, The Ticket. Right here at 60 to 48 is the Redskins not going away quietly. Meanwhile, in that Homestead Snyder game, it is 62-56 early in the fourth quarter. Panthers playing well tonight. After losing out to these Carroll Chargers on Tuesday night at home. 2.42 remaining. Mellers gives back to Kellen Brown. They'll trap him near side. He lost the ball, got it back. Looks, dribbles through traffic, and now a whistle. Northside nearly had the steal again. But how about the job of Sean McGee coming in averaging 21 points a ball game? Chris Hill draws the foul, just his first. Double bonus, though, for the Chargers. Brown will go to the line. First time he's been to the free throw line tonight, 60-48. to 48. And the first one is good. The irony may be that Carroll as a team, just 66% as a team from the free throw line. That's been a big story tonight. And another conversion. They've missed just once so far tonight from the free throw line. 62-48, two and a half minutes remaining. Kenny Nearside looks, hands it off. McGee, McGee lost the ball, got it back. Kellen Brown defending as he tries to set him up, goes baseline. Kenny trailing play, Butts foul to the hoop. And Jalen Butts will shoot a couple. He is 0 for 2 tonight from the line. He's got six points. That foul will go to Arius Jones, his first. But McGee has been the story for North, trying to keep him in it and carrying him on his back. Butts free throw, no good. They've hit just four and three of those from McGee. Fouled in three-point range. Made all three chances, second of two. This one's good by Butts. So Jalen now with seven points tonight, 62-49. Full court pressure once again by the Redskins. Chandler White scooches low. Now they want to trap him, picked up the dribble. Looks near side. And he's got Kalanji across the line. Near side feed. They look back to Kalanji. Kalanji down low. Chandler White fakes. Fakes goes up the reverse and no good. Rebound. Had it. Lost it. North side's got it the other way. They trail by 13. McGee can get it down to 10. Instead, it'll be a three-pointer on the way. No good. Deep rebound. Brown had it. Lost it. And then carried out of bounds. It'll be North side's ball with 150 on the clock. Not over yet. And let's see if we're going to have another timeout. We will on the floor with 150 remaining, 62-49. Skins with the ball, trying to get closer when we return. This is IHS Only Basketball on Fox Sports, 1250 the ticket. The next time you're downtown, treat yourself to one of those mouth-watering chocolate delicacies by DeBrands. Rudy's is your downtown resource for world-famous DeBrands chocolates, located right near Parkview Field. And Rudy's is a great downtown choice for scheduling your own small group private function. It's never too early to be making your spring and summer plans. Just call 451-0115 and ask for Uriah. You'll be astounded at what all comes with making your special event truly special at Rudy's. Treat all your senses at Rudy's downtown. And now more Hoosier Hysteria action as we head back to the arena with Joe Parson on Fox Sports 1250, The Ticket. Morty Beasley taking a lot of time with his team on the bench. Northside's out there ready to go to work. Other scores from earlier. Leo leading over Lakewood Park at the end of three quarters, 56-45. was DeKalb with a 27-21 lead at the half over Garrett. In Canterbury, also with a lead at Culver, 33-29. That was a halftime score. Here at 62-49, under two minutes' time remaining. Kinney delivers sideline left. They'll bring it into the corner now. Brandon Johnson looking for Butts. Has to bring it out. McGee, forced three-pointer on the way. In and out, no good. Tip ball, grabbed by Butts for a moment. Then he lost it. Tipped out. Nice save by Chandler White. Got it over to Arius Jones. Now, 
They work the transition play and a layup no good by Kalanji, but he's going back the line. Fouled Jeremy Kalanji to shoot two more free throws. That'll take the clock down to 1.30 remaining. Give the foul to Chris Hill, he's his second. Juwan Starks fouled out at the 4-12 mark with six points. 26 points by McGee on seven threes tonight. Free throw still good by Kalanji. He's hit nine straight so far tonight. Second one on the way, good again. 64-49, lead at 15, inside of 90 seconds time remaining. Kenny Nearside into the forecourt. Again, looking back out between the rings. They'll look weak side into the left corner. Jumpers up. That's bounding high twice on the rim. No good. Grabbed by Butts in the book. Put back is good by Jalen. He's got nine. 110 remaining. 64-51. Full court trapping pressure once again. Knocked away. Marty Beasley saying you got to help him out. Somebody's got to come to the ball. And let's see. They went to Chandler White now. Down low is Brown on the trigger. Looks at the baseball pass over the shoulder, and the catch is made, and the shot is missed. Chandler White too trapped up, but too far inside. Back comes Kinney, dropped the ball. Block shot by Mallers, and it's Kalanji with the ball. Covers up in the backcourt. Clears it out far side, Arius Jones. Jones now with 50 seconds remaining. Again, they trap him with the ball. Mallers has got it out between the rings. They'll play keep away now. It's Jeremy Kalanji. Gives it inside to Brown. Blocked to the hole. Here's Chandler White faking going up. That'll count and a foul. Chandler White able to time his leap off that missed basket. Now goes the line with a chance for the three-point play. That'll be the third foul against Chris Hill. Homestead, 66-51 here. Just announced to the crowd it's a four-point ball game. Snyder still holding on with a four-point lead over Homestead. Mallers is going to check to the bench. Looks like his night is done with 12 points. Ch Chandler White, he's got 13. Free throw no good. So he couldn't finish the three-point play, but just 34 seconds remaining. McGee working left side will drive one in and foul to the hoop. Sean McGee who's hit seven threes tonight. The one three he missed tonight, he was fouled launching that, and he switched all three free throws. Draws the foul from Jeremy Kalanji, his second. Meanwhile, McGee, who's done very, very well. He's four for four tonight from the line. Had six points only at halftime, but both those came on threes and hits a pair of free throws here. He's a perfect five for five tonight from the line. But the only Redskin that's had any kind of luck. And a reach in foul. We'll stop the clock with 27.8. And Carroll going to the opposite end with two more free throws. We Brandon Johnson will collect his first foul. Well, our next broadcast of IHSAA basketball will be next Friday night. It'll be the regular season finale. We'll be at the home of the cadets as Concordia will host Columbia City. That'll be a 7.30 tip-off or thereabouts with our pregame at 7.15. Free throws good. <laughs> Meanwhile, back of the line comes uh, Jacob Hansen. That's his first point of the night. Looking for his 68th point of the evening for Carroll. Right-hand free throws good again. So just two misses tonight at the free throw line by the Chargers. Jumper McGee hits another three, his eighth of the ball game. And they'll stop the clock with 20.1 seconds remaining. 31 points for Sean McGee, 25 in the second half. But it looks like it's not going to be enough. 68-56, and we'll take a quick 30-second timeout. This is IHSW Basketball on Fox Sports, 12.50 the ticket. Allow me to introduce myself on Monday. It's not easy being me, what with so many people cringing simply at the sound of my name. I'm not sure why people hate me. I mean, somebody has to start the week off. But here's a loving gesture McDonald's is making to help you warm up to me a little more. 
Every Monday at breakfast, you can get a free small cup of freshly brewed hot McCafe coffee. Just tell them Monday sent you. Show your Monday a little love with a free McCafe coffee. Limited time only at participating McDonald's. No purchase necessary. And now more Hoosier Hysteria action as we head back to the arena with Joe Parson on Fox Sports 1250, The Ticket. Chandler Wade with the ball inbounds gives to the freshman Arius Jones. They trap him. He spins away, looking hook pass in the backcourt. Hanson across the line now to Kalanji. We're down to eight seconds. And a quick foul at the 6.1 second mark. More free throws coming up now and just the final score to be determined. Give that foul to Brandon Johnson. That'll be his second. But one of the best pure shooting performances in a long time that we've seen by Sean McGee. Eight three-pointers tonight. 31 points. 25 in the second half. In Kalanji, meanwhile, he's wearing a, a path to the line. As he hits again from the free throw line. Second of two. That's good again. He's 10 for 10 in the fourth quarter alone. McGee. Look, and this will be a two, but he missed that one. And that is going to do it. It will be a 70 to 56 victory for the Carroll Chargers. So they'll win this game tonight at home by 14. They led by as many as 26 points. But when uh, Jacob Redding went out of the ball game, Northside kicked up their intensity level defensively, and they got it down to 12 points a couple of times, but they can't get over the over the hump. And Carroll with great free throw shooting tonight, offsetting the 31 point bombing performance by Sean McGee and the 11-game win streak for the Northside Redskins comes to a screeching halt here tonight at Carroll. At the Fieldhouse, it's the Chargers who win their 11th straight ball game. They defeat the Northside Redskins 70-56. to We're coming back with more of our Walburn Financial post-game show right after a timeout. 70-56, to the final. This is IHSW Basketball on Fox Sports, 1250 the ticket. When it comes to finding auto insurance, there are promises everywhere. Say $400 with us. Say $500 over there. Fact is, real savings may be hard to come by, at least until you call Virtual Insurance right here in Fort Wayne. When Joe Milhouse or Tim Beerman handle your coverage, you'll be assured of getting rock-solid savings. All it takes is a simple phone call. Call 260-478-4995. And yes, Virtual Insurance also handles a complete line of insurance products. Virtual Insurance. Real insurance with savings you can believe in. So you're taking that exciting step, buying a new house. Maybe you're planning to build your brand new dream home. Midwest America is a full-service lender that can offer you all kinds of mortgages to fit your situation, like refinancing your current home, buying or building. We have options for you. We want to help you get the home you've always wanted with timely and competitive financing. And you can rest assured that your loan will be handled with care by your local mortgage specialist, Midwest America. All together, better. Hi, this is Charlie Momper from Momper Insulation. After last winter's brutal temperatures and record-breaking wind chills, it's not too early to start thinking about adding insulation to your attic, sidewalls, and crawl space. By adding additional insulation, you can cut your energy costs up to 30%. Call Momper Insulation today at 432-7543. Momper, the number one name in insulation since 1956. You've heard the saying, it's all about the Benjamins. Nothing could be more true at Tom Steele Tire, where it's all about saving you money. For over 35 years, this family-owned business has been saving Fort Wayne drivers lots of Benjamins. Offering quality tires and ASC certified mechanical service for your car, and that includes an oil change and tire rotation special, all for just $24.95. Two convenient locations in Fort Wayne to serve you. Tom Steele Tire, not just a tire store, but a complete automotive center. Hi, this is Tim Rooney. For over 30 years, I've been helping people just like you meet their investing hopes and dreams. For individuals in a high-income tax bracket, that may mean investing in tax-free municipal bonds. For others, we may just help them pick their best investment options inside their own 401k plan. But for those kids approaching college, we can develop a college 529 plan that provides tax-free growth in addition to a $1,000 tax credit on your Indiana state tax return. 
It only takes a quick phone call to Stiefel to set up a no-obligation meeting to see what we can do to help meet your dreams. Just call us at 260-459-3989. That's 260-459-3989. And be sure to ask for Tim. And now more Hoosier Hysteria action as we head back to the arena with Joe Barson on Fox Sports 1250, The Ticket. Welcome back, everybody. What a ball game here tonight at the Carroll Fieldhouse as Carroll hits well from the free throw line and they come away with a home court victory over the invading Northside Redskins on a battle among uh, ranked teams, 70 to 56, the final uh, score. A reminder, you can catch a TV replay of our broadcast coming up tomorrow morning at uh, 9 o'clock and uh, just go to summitcitysports.com and uh, Looking at the line score of the ball game tonight, 15-7 in favor of Carroll here. At the end of the opening quarter, Northside scored just 16 points in the first half. They trailed at halftime by 20, 36 to 16. Redskins would get a 40-point second half, and they got it down to a couple of, well, about a dozen points, but they fall here tonight, 70 to 56, the final score. Northside got a uh, game-high 31 points tonight from Sean McGee. And get this, eight threes tonight, six of them in the second half. He had six points at halftime, and he finishes with a game-high 31. One of the stories, uh, Northside did not get a lot of scoring support elsewhere. Jalen Butts did finish with nine points. That's about his season average. But Juwan Stark struggling tonight. He had just six points all coming in the second half. In fact, he fouled out with four minutes and 12 seconds remaining with the half dozen points. Devani Kinney finishing with four points tonight. He did not score in the second half. Chris Hill had a late three ball, and Terrell Cruz finishing also with three points. As far as the Chargers, they had four players in double figures. Jeremy Kalanji finishing with a team high 20 points. As he had 16 of those in the second half, he was a perfect 12 for 12 tonight from the free throw line. Unofficially, Carroll was 21 of 23 at the line. Big part of their 14 point victory here this evening. Also in double figures, Chandler White with 13 points. He had nine of those in the first half, including a three ball. Jacob Redding went out early in the second half. He had 12 first half, first half points. That included a couple of threes. And that will be of some concern to Marty Peasley because they were already tonight without Jake Graham and Avery Pfaff. And now the question mark with the, the turned ankle that uh, prevented Jake Graham from uh, playing much at all in the second half. He did finish with 12 points. Rest of the scoring, 12 points for Kyle Mallers. He had seven of those in the first half as he knocked down a couple of threes. Rest of the Carroll scoring, three points for Arius Jones, who uh, saw a lot of minutes tonight, especially because of the injury to Jacob Redding. And the young freshman, I uh, thought, played very, very well. Jeffrey Kalanji finishing with four points. A couple of free throws from Jacob Hansen and four points from Kellen Brown with a basket and two free throws. With the win now, Carroll moves on at 20 and two. They finished six and one in the Northeast Hoosier Conference. Northside with the loss, snaps the 11 game win streak. They are now 17 and five. They were undefeated in the SAC at seven and zero. We'll be back with final comments. We'll try to give you some final scores and check the schedules coming up for both teams when we return with more of our post game presentation brought to you by Walburn Financial Management. Providing bookkeeping and tax services for the little guy. We'll be back. This is IHSWA Basketball on Fox Sports 1250, The Ticket. Every small business person has the same dread. Taxes, reports, and bookkeeping. What are you to do? You know you can't afford the big guys to keep you legal and solvent? Well, now there's Walburn Financial Management to save the day. Here's their number. You're going to want to remember this one. 260-459-2240. That's 459-2240. Why? Well, Walburn Financial Management specializes in the little guy. With reasonable rates and sensible retainers, Walburn Financial Management simply perfect for the small business budget. Seasons are changing, so it's a perfect time to finally put into action that fence upgrade to your yard. You know, the one you've talked about doing all summer long. 
Well, Aerofence can help make that yard project get going in easy, efficient style. Aerofence is a family-oriented business. They've been a Fort Wayne fixture for over 50 years, so you know that they've got to be good to be around that long. Aero will design and install your quality treated wood fence, and you can rest assured it won't rot, it won't warp, or they can design one in elegant ornamental iron, or give you maintenance-free vinyl or chain link if that's your fence of choice. Residential or commercial, Aero does it all. Give them a call, toll free at 1-800-879-1398, 800-879-1398. Don't take a chance, make your fencing choice, Aero Fence. 318 Edgewood Avenue on Fort Wayne's near north side. Arrow Fence. At Meyer, we know saving money is important. So with m you'll find even more ways to save big. How big? More than $125 million in the past year big. Over 3 million families big. Saving over 15% more every year big. With m you can clip digital coupons, choose personalized rewards and more. That all adds up to saving big. See Meyer.com slash savings for details. Pay for yourself with m from Meyer. Sign up free at m And now more Hoosier Hysteria action as we head back to the arena with Joe Parson on Fox Sports 1250, The Ticket. Well, Carroll does it with numbers here tonight as they defeat invading Northside 70 to 56, the final score here, and uh, offsetting the great shooting performance by Sean McGee with 41 points, eight three-pointers knocked down, and uh, Carroll with four players in double figures led by Jeremy Kalonji's 20-point night. Let's uh, bring you final scores from elsewhere. Snyder with the win over Homestead, 81-68 in that one. It was Southside falling to Liberty Christian, 84-78. DeKalb with the win over Garrett, 6 68, 48, and Dwinger, 77, East Noble, 51. Looking to the upcoming games for both these teams, Northside now trying to bounce back with two toughies down the road here in the final week of the regular season. They are at 19-1 Leo on Tuesday night, then they host 20-2 Homestead next Friday night. As far as the Chargers, they play on the road tomorrow. They'll be in Indianapolis taking on North Central. North Central coming into the weekend was 15-3. And then next Friday night, they close at Warsaw, and the Tigers were 17-3 going into this weekend's uh, games. As far as our game next uh, Friday night on Fox Sports, we'll be at Concordia as the host cadets will play host to the Columbia City Eagles, and uh, that game will uh, tip off at 7.30 thereabouts. And our pregame next Friday night on Fox Sports begins at 7.15. Want to wish the best of luck to all the girls' teams tomorrow morning in the, uh, and tomorrow afternoon and evening in the uh, various girls' regionals going on. Of course, tomorrow morning in Kokomo, the first game, McCutcheon against Nobleville in Game 1. Then Snyder takes on Homestead in Game 2. And then the winners play tomorrow night at 8 at Kokomo. And again, best of luck to all the teams. Concordia in action as well at Belmont taking on Norwell in that one. Here tonight, it was Sean McGee with 31, but Concordia had the numbers, and they win it 70-56. to 56. Our final score, special thanks to our studio producer. His name was Patrick Plummer. Until next Friday night, I'm Joe Parson. So long, everybody. Thanks so very much for listening. At Parkview Regional Medical Center, we know that life-threatening or severe problems requiring surgery can happen at any time. That's why, when the unexpected happens, our trauma and acute care surgeons are ready. They make up the region's only team of acute care surgeons board certified in both general surgery and critical care. They're here 24-7, not just on call, to diagnose, treat, and perform life-saving surgery. From emergency appendectomies to major trauma surgeries, our dedicated team is here round the clock, on site and in the medical center. And it doesn't stop there. Our acute care surgeons are backed by a full range of specialists and advanced technologies, all in a state-of-the-art facility. No wonder when it comes to trauma and emergency care, more people trust Parkview. Parkview Regional Medical Center. In an emergency, isn't this where you'd rather be? From humble roots some 30 years ago, the name Ruoff Home Mortgage has been built upon a legacy of making dreams of home ownership a reality. Loan officers Doug and Julie Carroll are proud to help you establish your roots with a mortgage for your new home. They understand that every borrower is different, and they work hard to get you a mortgage that fits your needs. Call the Carroll team at 602-9768 to find out which program is right for you. 
When you need a mortgage that is simple and straightforward from a hometown name you can trust, call Doug and Julie Carroll at Ruoff Home Mortgage, 602-9768. Miss a great high school game recently? Or simply want to revisit that game-changing electric play that turned everything all around? Well, now there's a great new opportunity to do just that. Catch all the exciting action of our live radio broadcast simply by visiting SummitCitySports.com after our game broadcast. Plus, many other high school sports highlights to choose from as well. It's all new and available now at SummitCitySports.com. You've been listening to IHSAA Basketball. Presented by Parkview Hospital Randalia. Parkview, your source for health. Proud sponsors of tonight's game also include Parkview Hospital Randalia. Parkview, your resource for health. And by Fox Sports 1250, the ticket. Tonight's game is also presented by Meyer, where you get higher standards and lower prices. By McDonald's Restaurants of Northeast Indiana. McDonald's. I'm loving it. Momper Insulation, with over 40 years of quality, professional insulation. Walburn Financial Management, providing affordable solutions to bookkeeping and tax problems. By Midwest America Federal Credit Union, now with mobile banking. Check balances and transfer money all right from your phone. By Stiefel, a firm of choice. Ruoff Home Mortgage, a great name to know when you need a mortgage. By Arrow Fence, Fort Wayne's oldest name in fencing. By Tom Steele Tires, the car care center of Fort Wayne. And with special promotional consideration by the Fort Wayne Journal Gazette. Nobody delivers the goods each morning like the Journal Gazette. We'll see you next time with more Hoosier Hysteria and Joe Parson. Why can he get in there and...